All right, can everybody hear me okay? Yeah? Can you hear me all right? You probably won't be here this whole time, and if you ever can't hear me, just kind of let me know. Um, so my plan for class today is we're gonna do um, a little bit of centering, meditation, breathing. We're gonna move through like an hour and 15, 75 minute-ish length class. Take a little break and then come back for a little more lecture. Um, so kind of the format that we've been doing. Uh, so let's begin lying down. So come onto your back, lie down. And you can let yourself get comfortable. So let your legs go long, let your arms come out and down by your side. And if you have a cell phone nearby, just make sure it's off, maybe even on airplane mode so it's not distracting. And just take this time to really come into the space this morning. So a little louder than it was on Tuesday, but just allowing yourself to really center and uh, take in all the sounds around you. On the field today, it's also a little more overcast. So just notice like kind of the temperature in the space. And if you're at home, you can kind of imagine that you're here with us, just practicing together. Start to really get sensitive as you bring sensation to your physical body. So yoga is about practicing embodiment, so body awareness. So start to check in with how you feel this morning. Maybe you had an experience the past couple days that was a little jarring and you're still holding tension or stress in your body. So you're starting to really notice how you feel inside. starting to pay attention to the physical body. So uh, noticing uh, if there's a tight place somewhere or another. Just really taking the time to land, to transition into the space together. So taking a deep breath in. Let a big sigh out of your mouth. Full deep breath in. Big cleansing sigh out. Start your belly breath. So see if you can breathe down into your low belly. Let your arms relax by your sides or you can even place your hands on your belly, kind of low down under your belly button to encourage a really deep breath. Notice what it's like to really use the full capacity of your lungs, breathing in and letting go. And then I'll ask you here to set an intention for practice today, kind of what we've been doing, choosing a word to focus on or a phrase, maybe how you want to feel today, what you want to focus on. Maybe it's a word like calm, peace, balance, or relaxation. Maybe it's a word like presence, so really letting yourself be here in this moment. So easy to get really distracted with all the things in our lives, but it can be really powerful and potent to be here, to be present. So really getting clear about that intention, setting it now, deep breath in, big breath out. And then from here, point your toes, bring your feet together at the bottom of the mat, and stretch your arms up and overhead. So reach your arms up and your feet down. Really lengthen your body from the top to the bottom. Full body, good morning, stretch. Good, now just kind of soften your shoulders down. Keep your arms above you and reach through your right arm and then reach through your left arm. So kind of lengthening, it's like there's um, like an apple on the mat behind you. So really stretch up, stretch down. Good, now bend your knees and hug them into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze and rock a little side to side, maybe a little forward and back. And then start to rock up and down along your spine, kind of like a, a rocking horse you can grab behind your thighs. See if you can just rock and roll up and down and then rock all the way up to a seated position. So come to sit nice and tall. Good. 
And again, like I've said, if seated doesn't feel good, you can always stretch your legs straight out in front of you. Good. Place your hands on your knees and just move a little side to side. We are, what, is this our third week of classes? Third? So some of these movements may start to feel a little familiar. Maybe rock a little back and forth. So hopefully starting to get into um, a little bit of a familiarity and this is where you can start to really pay attention like, oh, my hips feel a little bit more open or this is starting to get a little bit easier. Now start to make some circles with your hands on your knees, kind of bending and straightening your arms, coming side to side. Good, and then switch to go the other direction. Little circles here. Does anyone have any requests of um, body parts you want to stretch or open, anything like that? Back, lower back, yeah. Your knee, just kind of knee, okay. All right, so sitting up nice and tall. Take a deep breath and squeeze your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, let your shoulders drop. Inhale, shoulders squeeze up. And exhale, shoulders drop down. One more time, squeeze your shoulders up, hold them tense and tight. And then exhale, circle your shoulders around, back and down. A couple other little circle, shoulder circles, shoulder rolls. And then kind of switch direction, bring your shoulders forward, back and around. Good. And then see if you can sit up nice and tall. Draw your shoulders back. So good posture with your shoulders dropping down. Your chest lifting. Awesome. Bring your arms down by your sides. Good. Then inhale, stretch your arms out and up. Taking it nice and slow. Exhale, take your arms down by your sides. Good. Just gentle, slow movement. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, arms float down. Good. One more time. Inhale, arms stretch out and up. Good, and then just take a gentle twist to the right. Good, so one hand behind your back, maybe one hand outside that knee. Inhale, lift tall. Good, and then exhale, twist. Good, Logan, see if you can bring that hand behind your back. Yeah, there you go, one more breath here. Good, and then come to face forward. Bring your right hand down next to your hip. You can kind of look at it and stretch your top arm up and over. You can kind of draw your top shoulder back Maybe roll your wrists a little bit. And see if you can feel that stretch in your side, just kind of noticing. Good. Then lower your left hand and fold over your right knee. You can be on fingertips here, and it might feel good to kind of move your spine a little up and down, or just kind of fold, maybe you drop onto your forearms. Good. And then come up onto your fingertips, lift your gaze, and walk your way to center. And see if you can rock your hips a little as you stretch your arms out in front of you. Good. And maybe you're up a little bit higher. It doesn't matter what it looks like, just what you're feeling. Right? We all have super different bodies based on, like, our bones. So um, comparing yourself to someone else in class is just su super silly because we all have super different bodies. Good. And then slowly roll back up. Good. Shoulders shrug up, back, and around. Good. Bring your hands behind your back. Uncross your legs, place your feet down, and then lift your hips up into a reverse table. Press up. Good. And then lower back down. Cross your legs. See if you can do the opposite leg in front. If you don't remember which leg was in front before, you can try both, and one might feel a little bit different. Put your arms down by your side. And then inhale, arms sweep out and up. Good. Exhale, twist to the left. Good. On your inhale, grow a little bit taller. And then exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Look behind your left shoulder. Again, deep breath in, sit tall. Exhale, twist. Good, and then turn to face forward. Bring your right hand down. Look at where your hand is. So just next to your hip, put your top arm up and over. The side bend, maybe pull that top shoulder back. Good, so um, near me, so I'm going opposite of you. So other hand, the other side, there you go. Yeah. Good. And maybe sides are so confusing, aren't they? You can roll that top wrist a little. Good. And then turn over your knee, your left knee, and just kind of fold it to the side. So again, you can kind of move your spine up and down, or just kind of linger. And you might feel a stretch in the low back on the um, right side there. Kind of notice. And then lift your gaze, come onto fingertips, walk your way back to center. 
and just kind of fold, maybe feel your hips stretch, maybe stretch your arms further forward. Good, and then slowly rise back up once again. Shoulders lift up, back and around. So just so, so important to know that one, two, three, so like of the 10 people who are here, all of our bodies are so different, which will affect what our practice looks like. For some of you, like the way the top of your um, humeral bone goes into it, the thing, like you might be super open, or even just like the way your muscles are, um, like the quality of your muscles that you, and this is all like genetic, right? Like your parents gave you really like strong bones or like um, flexible tissue. So I could say like everyone like come into a handstand and someone who like has never done it will be like, oh, look at this. And like some of us work for years and years and it's still a struggle. So just like so important to really land that idea. And this isn't just yoga, right? This is everything. Some people have to work harder. Some people have to, um, are more like it's easier. So just know that a lot of this is based on like our genetic makeup, our bones, what we inherit from our parents. So it's just um, always good to remember. Okay, so spin around and let's come to tabletop position on all fours. Good, so spread your fingers wide, root into your knuckles. Good, and then just like we've been doing, just kind of move your hips a little side to side. I feel a little awkward. Move your hips, and then start to circle your hips, like you're drawing a line. If you had like a marker sticking out of your butt and you're gonna like try to draw a circle. Yeah, so just kind of starting to free up some space in the hips. Good, and then switch to go the other direction. Okay, so our hips can get really tight from sitting a lot or just light. So just starting to bring some movement there. Good, now start to bend and straighten your arms as you move yourself side to side. So think about kind of barrel rolling through your chest. Yeah, so puff your shoulders up and then drop your chest down, up and down, side to side. Good, and then switch to go the other direction. And just notice if it feels kind of tight in your upper back, in your hips, mid-back, just kind of awakening everything. Good, then come to a neutral tabletop position. Walk your knees back, tuck your toes, kind of shift your hips back a little. And then shift forward into a modified plank. So think straight line from your knees to your shoulders. Look forward, bend your elbows into your thighs. Good, press back up. So do four more chaturanga push-ups like that little bend and straight and see if you can keep your hips hovering, chest forward, gaze forward, long neck. Some of you might not even need the knees down. Good, and then come down and lower all the way to your belly. Stretch your legs back behind you. Good, hands are down by your side, exhale. And then inhale, lift your chest up. So a little back bend here. You can move your hips, move your gaze right, gaze left. This is called cobra. And if you wanna amp it up, Pressing into the tops of the feet, lift your thighs. This is called upward dog. It's a lot harder, and it might be a lot on your low back. So totally skip it, but it's nice to know if you want it. Good, lower back to the belly. Stretch your arms back behind you, palms face one another. Exhale, and then inhale, lift your chest, arms, and legs. See if you can hover. It's a little strength for your backside. Good, maybe lift a little bit higher, stretch out a little longer. Good, lower down. Bring your hands by your side. Tuck your toes, see if you can reverse push up or just press the table. And then back to child pose. Back of the mat. So big toes together, knees wide toward the edges of the mat. Good, really see if you can drop your hips onto your heels and stretch your arms forward. Good, and it might feel good to rock your hips a little side to side here. Maybe rock your forehead temple to temple. And just know that any time you can take a break and rest in child's pose or lie on your back. So in yoga, we wanna cultivate a really healthy healing relationship with our body. So finding that balance between effort and ease maybe not pushing ourselves too hard, just finding kind of a happy medium. Good, so take one more deep breath here. And then see if you can stretch your hips back a little further, reach your arms out in front of you a little bit more. Good, and then rise up onto all fours, tabletop position. 
So let's do three rounds of cat cow. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, tuck your toes, drop your belly, arch your spine, gaze up for cow. Good, and really kind of shift forward maybe a little more. Good, now point your toes and round your spine, cat. Pull your belly into your back, let your chin drop. Good, and then two more, inhaling cow, tuck your toes, arch your spine, shift forward. Good, point your toes and round your spine, cat chin in. Good, one more time, inhale for cow pose. And exhale, arch and round for cat. Good, come back to center, find neutral. Now tuck your toes and lift your hips to downward dog. Good, spread your fingers wide, really root into your knuckles. You guys look really good. Lift your hips up, 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 and then maybe back a little further. Good, see if you can drop your heels down. Good, now take a deep breath in and round forward to plank pose. Come forward into high plank. Shoulders over your wrists. Good, hips in line with your shoulders. Yeah, super strong, pull your front body in. Nice, and then lift your hips up and back, downward dog. Good, again, come high up onto your toes and imagine your spine's like an ocean wave, ripple forward, plank. Good, now hold plank or maybe bring your right knee to your right elbow and then back, just warming up a little, getting some heat moving. Good, hold your plank, downward dog. Good, last time, high into your toes, ripple forward plank position. Now from here on your knees, bend your elbows, chaturanga, yogi push up. Yeah, awesome. Upward dog or cobra, point your toes and lift your chest. Nice, downward facing dog. Breathe in, deep breath out. Good, walk your feet forward to the top of the mat. Great job on Zoom, you guys, you're doing awesome. Good, now with a nice bend of your knees, fold deeply. Good, you can grab opposite elbows or let your arms kind of hang, maybe shake out your head a little. Good, now bring your left hand in front of your face, stretch your right arm up and take a twist. Good, you can bend your left knee, maybe reach your right arm up, maybe roll that right wrist around. There you go, nice. Good, then right hand comes down, forward fold. And switch, right hand plants, left arm stretches, take your twist, maybe roll that top wrist a little, right knee can bend. Good, left hand comes down, fold. Now bend your knees and slowly roll your spine up. So stand, shrug your shoulders up, back, and around. Good, give your hands and your wrists a little shake, shake, shake. Then shake out your shoulders, maybe your chest, maybe kind of bob your heels. So I just kind of want to take a survey. Everyone close your eyes. And on a scale of one to five, hold out one of your hands. One being the easiest and five being the hardest. How challenging is downward dog on a scale of one to five? So if, if one is like not hard and five is really hard, put out one number. You also don't have to close your eyes. So one is easy, five is hard. Okay, cool, good. You can open your eyes, good. And then stand in mountain pose. So little bend of your knees, step your feet about hip width distance apart. So that's about two fists between your feet. So you can kind of measure that. And then look down. I would recommend no socks, but feel free to keep your socks um, on. And just kind of look at your feet. So we can learn a lot about um, our body's alignment by just noticing our feet. So see if you can start by just spreading your toes. Lift and spread your toes apart. Stretch them open. Good. Then lower your toes. With a little bend of your knees, see if you can lift your heels. Come up onto your tippy toes, balance, and your arms stretch out. Good, and then lower down, and then keeping your feet grounded, just shift a little forward and back. Good, and then shift a little side to side. And just notice, I used to always like stand on one hip, right, like this. That's like pretty natural. So sometimes just ground and mountain, it might feel really awkward to not have like your hands in your pockets or your hands on your phone. So what does it feel like to just stand well? Good. With a tall spine, shoulders back. Good. And then just take a full breath in. Think
Think about breathing into every little inch of your body. Inhale and exhale. And then stand in a way that makes it look like you really love your body, like you feel strong and confident. Really kind of draw your shoulders back, lift tall. Take a full breath in and a deep breath out. Good. Now inhale, stretch your arms out to the sides and up. Lift up. Good. And then exhale, sweep your arms down. Good. Inhale, arms stretch out and up. Now keep your arms lifting. Maybe a back bend here. See if you can press your hips forward. Open your chest. Maybe draw back. Maybe even look back. Nice. And then come to center. Pause. Bend your knees and forward fold. Let your hands touch the mat. Shake out your head a little. Good. Heel toe your feet open for squat, malasana. So bend your knees. See if you can go heels in, toes out. Maybe elbows inside your knees, hands at your heart. Maybe you can drop your heels. Good. Nice. Now from here, see if you can kind of slowly lower onto your bottom and lift your legs up for boat pose. Good. You can have hands behind your thighs. Open your chest. Good. Now from here, See if you can really slowly start to bring your low back down towards the mat. We're going to come into kind of a the table position. Back down, legs are lifted. Good. Then bring your hands behind your head and go left elbow to right knee, right elbow to left knee just a couple times. See if you can keep your lower body really still. Just working your core here. Two and one. Now bend your knees in and rest your head. Give yourself a squeeze, rock side to side. Good. Curl your upper body up. Hug your knees in. Now stretch your right leg long and pull your left knee into your chest. Good. Then go switch. So pull, extend, pull, extend. And that leg that's pulling in, see if you can really press it into your hand. Think opposition. For three. Good. Upper abs. Two. And one. Good. Bend your knees. Rest your head. Now see if you can rock a little up and down along your spine, maybe hands behind your thighs, and see if you can rock up into a little squat, feet together, knees wide, and then maybe you're just like, definitely not, so just use your hands and come into a little squat with your feet together this time and knees open. Good, so great for balance and flexibility. Now from here, see if you can bring your knees forward and balance shoulders over your hips. Maybe you don't balance. Good, awesome, it's great for your feet. Good, see if you can reach your arms forward and stand up. Heels high, good, heels down, arms down, nice. Give everything a good shake, shake out your hands, your wrists, your shoulders, maybe your legs a little. Good, and then just again, lift your feet. Make sure your toes are facing forward. So a lot of us tend to be kind of externally rotated or maybe you kind of roll in. So just really ground evenly into your feet. Good, lift your heels and lower. Lift your heels and lower. Almost like a little bit of a calf raise. Good, see if you can lift your heels. Now stretch your arms forward, bend your knee. Good, now see if you can lower your right heel down and then your left heel. Pedaling out your feet, chest is lifted, hips draw back behind you. Good, now lift both heels, bend your knees, sit a little bit lower. Good, drop your heels down, send your feet back. Good, stand up and just let your arms sway Bend and straighten your legs a little bit. So little squats. And then as you move here. You guys just hear something? Yeah. Oh, that was one of you guys. Oh, hey. Um, think about, this is like on a loudspeaker. Really engaging through your hamstrings and your glutes. So really send your hips back behind you. Good. So a lot of time we kind of grip in the quads. So see if you can send your feet back. Good. Good, stand up. Now bring your feet together, bring your hands on your knees and make some circles like this. So warming up the joints. Good. And then switch to go the other direction. Good, stand back up, step your feet maybe a little bit wider than hip width and just make some circles with your hips. Let your arms relax down or hands on your hips or arms kind of out, whatever feels good. Good. And notice if your hips feel tight as you just gently kind of circle and then switch your circles other way. And just kind of let go of how this might look. Just really connecting to how you feel. 
Good. And then come back to stand nice and tall, mountain pose. Inhale, reach your arms up. Good. Now circle your left arm back around behind you. Kind of look back at it, stretch it high, and then switch. So like you're doing the back row. So left arm and then right arm. And you can kind of turn your chest back in the direction your arms are circling. Good. Reach both arms up and then see if you can bring forward one arm back. Yeah, it might be kind of hard for the mind to gather. So just mind-body connection, you got this. Yeah. So if you start at the top and go like, okay, one arm forward, one arm back, go like drop. That might help. I know, it's like, why is this so hard, right? Good. Reach both arms up. Take your right hand to your left wrist. Stretch up and over to the right. Little side bend. Good. And back to center, opposite hand draws, grabs the rib wrist maybe bend your knees a little stretch up and over good come to center bend your elbows out to a t a little back bend maybe nice and then forward fold hands to the floor lengthen your spine and look forward good plant your hands step your feet back into plank pose good now either drop on your knees or right from here chaturanga yogi push-up elbows narrow nice upward dog or cobra downward facing dog Take three deep breaths here. Really spread your fingers wide, root into your knuckles. If down dog doesn't work, find table or child's pose. Full breath in, full breath out. Nice, one more deep breath in. Complete exhale. Now lift high to your tippy toes, take a little bend of your knees and walk or hop your feet forward to the top of the mat. Good, forward fold. Good, hang your upper body here, maybe let your head drop. Good, and then round your spine to come all the way to stand. Shrug your shoulders up, back and around. Good, mountain pose, feet together, arms down. So let's call the sun salutation or Surya Namaskara A, which is kind of a classic way to warm up our bodies in yoga. So we'll do one more round just like that. So stand at the top of your mat, exhale. Good, inhale, stretch your arms out and up. Good, exhale, forward fold, bend your knees, hands to the mat. Good, inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward, maybe hands on the shins. Good, exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, plank pose through chaturanga, yogi push-up. Good, upward dog or cobra, downward facing dog. And if downward dog doesn't work, remember table or child's pose is just fine. Think about really hugging your muscles into your bones, so engaging, working. Spread your fingers wide. See if you can get your heels to the mat, maybe. Good. Now lifting up onto your tippy toes, little bend of your knees. You can walk your feet forward um, to stand or maybe come onto your tippy toes. Do a couple little hops here. Maybe give yourself a little kick in the butt. A little lift up, a little lift down. Might be fun or totally like, no, not going to happen, but it's an option. Yeah, nice guys. And then forward fold, top of the mat, head drop. Good, round your spine to come up to stand. Reach your arms up, and then hands together and down to your heart, mountain pose. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, now we're gonna do a round of Surya Namaskara B, so Sun Salutation B, just a slight different variation. So bend your knees, sit your seat low, stretch your arms high, chair pose. Imagine you're sitting back in a chair. And look down at your body, make sure your feet are together, your knees are tracking forward. Maybe sit a little bit lower. Good, hands to the floor, forward fold. Lengthen your spine, look forward. Good, plant your hands, step your feet back, plank position. Good, flow it out, yogi push up. Good, upward dog or cobra, downward facing dog. Spread your fingers wide, chest to thighs, breathe in. Exhale, good, now reach your right leg up and back behind you. Step it forward, spin your back heel down, reach your arms up for warrior one. Good, so make sure that front knee is tracking forward. Good, arms stretch high, drop your shoulders down, breathe here, inhale. Good, exhale, nice, one more breath. Good, hands to the mat. You can step your right leg straight to downward dog or take what's called a vinyasa, go plank, Chaturanga, upward dog, nice everybody, downward dog. 
Left leg stretches up and back. Step it forward. Spin your back heel down. Arms reach up, warrior one. So imagine your feet are kind of on train track. So right foot to the right, left foot to the left. Stretch up high. Sit down low, breathe. Maybe roll your wrists a little bit. Nice. Hands to the floor, left leg steps back. You can go again, right to down dog or take a flow. Chaturanga, good, upward dog. And then everyone press back to child's pose. And then just kind of settle and notice. Notice what the movement does, how you feel. Breathe in deeply and exhale completely. So see if you can kind of breathe into your back body, into the ribs, inhale, exhale. Good, one more deep breath here. Good, and then lifting up onto your fingertips with your gaze, rise to table, downward face. And we'll just finish up that Surya Namaskara B. Walk your feet forward and fold. Good, then bend your knees and sit your seat low. Stretch your arms high, chair pose. Good, rise all the way to stand, maybe back bend at the top. Good, hands to the heart, mountain pose. Deep breath in and exhale. See if you can slow your breath down. Inhale and exhale. All right, balancing at the top of the mat, bring your right foot into tree pose. So you can go ankle, calf, thigh, and think about really pressing that knee open to the side. Foot into the leg, leg into the foot. It's a little harder to balance on a softer surface, so just be gentle with yourself. Good, hands to the heart. If you want an extra challenge, you can even try closing your eyes. Maybe you even stretch your arms up or out. Awesome. I know it's hard, long hold, you're doing great. Good, now from here, bring your hands back to your heart, bring your right leg forward, maybe stretch it straight a little. Good, now send it back behind you and point your toes, kind of just slightly back behind you. Now here, see if you can pulse the back of the leg a little, little lifts. You can even bring your hand onto your hamstring and then a little squeeze lift, squeeze lift. Maybe the left knee is bent a little bit. Do you guys feel all that working? Good, now lift it and see if you can hinge forward and back into airplane pose. So capital letter T, chest down, leg back, maybe arms out. Good, now step your right foot down at the back of the mat and rise up into a crescent lunge. So high lunge, back heels lifting, nice deep bend of the front knee, arms stretch high. Good, drop your shoulders down. Good, now open to the side of the mat for warrior two. So you're facing chambers. Good, nice deep bend to that front knee. So the front knee is bent, left leg, left toes forward, right toes face the side. Nice long stance, so bend your front knee. There you go, yeah, open your arms. I know, it's hard. Good, now from here, see if you can straighten your arms and your legs, rise up. And then exhale, bend and lower. Two more like that, inhale, nice. And exhale. One more time, rise up, reach your arms. Good, lower down to warrior two. Now take your right hand down your back leg and lift up and over, reverse warrior. Beautiful, rise back up, shift forward, extended side angle. So bring your left forearm to your thigh, top arm goes up and over. Maybe you can even bring your bottom hand to the floor. Yeah, maybe you can even stretch your top arm behind your back and touch your hands underneath your leg. Yeah, awesome. Good, release that rise up and then straighten your front leg. Good, walk your back foot in a little to shorten your stance. Triangle pose, reach your arms out wide. Good, and then hinge forward and down. Left hand onto your shin, your ankle, top arm stretches up, good. Beautiful, really nice. Good, rise back up. Good, turn to the top of the mat and step your right foot forward, hands at the heart. Good, breathe in and exhale. 
I'm just gonna pay attention to the right or left sides. Inhale deeply, exhale. Good, now balance on your right foot, bring your left leg to tree pose. Good, so sole of the foot goes inside the thigh. You just wanna try to make sure it's not like on the knee. So calf is good, thigh, or maybe ankle to ankle, good. Now think about really drawing your leg open. Yeah, hands to the heart, or you can stretch your arms up. Maybe out. Good, balance is really important. So you can also take some time to look at one thing that's not moving, that's called your drishti, your gaze point. Good, can you stretch up a little higher? Beautiful, then bring your hands to your heart. Bring your left leg forward, maybe straighten it. Good, and then sweep it back behind you. Point your toes on the mat behind you. Good, and then just a couple little lifts here with that left leg. So think about squeezing and engaging the back of the hamstring and glutes. So those are really strong, powerful muscles that on most people, they're weak. So it's really important to kind of engage and strengthen. Good, one more. Now from here, hold and see if you can tilt forward into airplane pose. Yeah, chest down, leg up, very nice. Balance, so good. Good, and then step your left foot down to the back of the mat, reach your arms up, press your lunge. So you're facing knee, nice deep bend of the front knee, arms stretch high. Good, then open to the side of the mat for warrior two. So you're facing Blackwell Terrace. Nice deep bend of the front knee. So look down at your body and kind of check in, see if you feel like generally aligned, shoulders lift tall, nice and long through your torso. Good, now inhale, stretch your arms high, straighten your legs. Good, exhale, lower and gaze forward. Inhale, rise up, so pumping warrior. Exhale, lower down. Last one, inhale, rise. Nice, exhale, lower. Good, reverse your warrior. Left hand goes down the left leg. Right arm lifts up and over. Keep that front knee bending. Good. Good, rise back up. Extended side angle, come forward, right forearm to thigh. Left arm reaches up or over. Yeah, beautiful. Maybe that bottom hand comes to the mat. You can even try to bring your right arm inside the right leg, left hand behind your back. Maybe they'll touch. Yeah, there you go, nice. Good, rise back up to warrior two and then straighten your front leg. Heel toe that back foot in to shorten your stance. Lift tall, make sure the right foot's still facing forward. There you go, lift tall and then calm down, triangle. So right hand down, left arm up. Good, open your chest, maybe gaze up. Good, rise back up. And just do a little reverse triangle, left hand down, right arm up and over. Good, and then turn to face the top of your mat, step your feet forward, hands to the heart. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Good, lower your arm, shift your weight to your left foot and bend your right knee. See if you can grab your foot behind you like you're gonna do a little quad stretch. So if we were inside and some of you have trouble with balance, I'd say like grab a wall or grab some spidery uh, seats. Good, and then think about really stretching the front of your leg there and your quad knees kind of drawing in towards one another. Good, now see if you can grab your right foot in your right uh, hand, stretch your left arm forward, and then kick your leg up and back. Reach your arm forward, it's called dancer pose. Kick up and forward, beautiful. Kick, 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 reach, 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 lift, lift, lift. And release, lower back down, awesome. Release your arms, release your legs, you have everything a little shake. Yeah, it's not easy, right? Good, kind of sway a little. Good, and then just again, pause in mountain pose and notice if there's a little more energy or stretch or that right side feels a little more awake. Good, shift your weight to the right foot, bend your left knee, grab your heel. Good, and then see, you know, both hands can kind of grab the foot and just start by stretching the front of that leg. So n don't bring it right back behind you. See if you can keep your knees drawing in towards one another. Good, very nice, balance. Good, now bring your left foot into your left hand, stretch your right arm straight up, and then kick your leg back behind you. You can also stay with your knees tracking in towards one another. 
Good, reach, kick, lift. Stretch your chest forward, kick your leg back, balance. Tick, 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 tick. Good, and then let it go, shake it out. Bob your shoulders, shake your knees. We'll do one more balance pose and then start to kind of wind it down. So this is called Eagle. Reach your arms out to a T. Cross your right elbow underneath your left, and then see if you can circle the forearms and the wrists to touch. Good, so first option, just go right elbow underneath your left, hands on opposite shoulders, kind of like you're giving yourself a hug. Or you can, nice, double wrap your forearms and your wrists. Good, and then here with eagle arms, maybe just lift and lower. If you, yeah, if you have bigger arms, sometimes that's hard. Just give yourself a hug. Good, now adding on, feet together, bend your knees like you're sitting in chair. See if you can lift your right leg up and cross it over your left. Full expression, right toes will come behind your left calf for a double wrap, awesome. You can also put the other foot on the mat for more um, balance, good. Hold here, focus, good. And then come back up, uncross your leg, open your arms out and lower down. Good, pause in mountain, breathe. Hmm. Good, lifting tall, noticing your posture. So when we have beautiful posture through our spine, it allows our body to take deeper breaths, right? So everyone kind of slunch over like this. Like if you had like a horrible day, really like round your spine. Now try to take a deep breath. Good, now lift your chest and draw your shoulders back, get really tall and then take a deep breath. Do you notice the difference? Does this feel more comfortable for some of you? Right. It's so easy. Like, have you ever seen a picture of yourself and you're like this? I have. I'm like, oh my gosh, why am I slouching? Because our society, like driving or like on our computers or on our phone, we're just like naturally hunched forward. So one of the best things we can also do for our body for like longevity, so you don't turn into one of those like old people like walking around like this is to keep your spine really healthy and strong. And I think a healthy spine means flexible and strong, right? So open and also stable, right? So always finding that like balance in our yoga practice and any practice you might do. So let's do the other side in Eagle. Reach your arms out to the side. Go across your left elbow underneath your right. And then you can bring opposite hands on opposite shoulders or double wrap the forearms and maybe the palms can touch. Good, and then maybe here, that's good, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can lift and lower a little. Good, see if you can really hug your elbows in. You're kind of like this, a little closer. <laughs> there you go, good. Maybe kind of round, move. Good, then from here, bend your knees and sit down to a chair pose. Good, and see if you can lift your left leg up, cross it on top of the right. This is a, a hard pose, you guys are doing awesome. Maybe you double hook your foot behind your calf. Focus, concentrate. Yeah, bend your knees a little more. You can put your foot down. Lift your chest, lift your elbows. Good, and then release, uncross your legs, uncross your arm. Beautiful, let your Much arms difference. relax. And just kind of circle your spine, little twist. You can kind of let your arms tap you, little like hit. And that's kind of right back here, our kidneys. So kind of stimulating our kidneys. So that'll help if you're feeling ever like really fatigued or tired. Just gonna, little kidney massage, waking everything up. All right, nicely done everyone. Walk to the very top of your mat. Good, take a deep breath in and stretch your arms up. Good, exhale, forward fold. Let your hands drop to the mat. Good, now heel toe your feet open. Again, for a squat, malasana. So bend your knees, see if you can bring your feet wide. Good, and then option here to play with an arm balance. If you wanna to come to crow pose, you can stay here and stretch, maybe take a twist. You can bring one arm inside your leg and maybe try to bind behind your back. That's kind of fun and challenging. Good, or crow pose, come forward. Bring your hands down, spread your fingers wide. Knees on the triceps, shift forward, and then see if you can lift your feet up. Both feet, squeeze. So this is a great kind of surface to practice crow because if you fall on your face, maybe it's a little softer. Good, yeah, nice. Good, and you can also play with side crow. There you go. 
So bringing your knees together, hands to your sides, and kind of setting up just like chaturanga, like a little shelf, shift forward, and then lift up. And then maybe you can extend your legs to the side. This kind of looks like break dancing. <laughs> yeah, and these are. this is just like play time, if you like. No worries, good. Yeah, nice. Now bring your hands down and walk your feet back. Yogi push up all the way to the mat. Good, now from here, stretch your arms back behind you. Exhale, and then inhale, lift your chest and your legs once again. Good, just think about strengthening the back body, lift, lift, lift. Good, lower down and bring one ear onto the mat, shake your hips out. Shake, shake, shake. Good, now bring your gaze forward. Again, you can stretch arms and legs up or bend your knees and reach back. See if you can grab your feet for bow, floor bow. Kick your legs, lift your chest. Maybe even rock a little here, forward and back. Kick, 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 kick. And lower down. Bring your opposite ear onto the mat. Shake out your hips. Soften and relax. Breathe. Good. And then bringing your gaze forward. Press into your hands. Lift up to all fours tabletop position. Good. Stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. Good. And then we're going to do a little shoulder stretch. It's called thread the needle. So lower your right arm underneath your left. Let your right ear come down. Left hand can be by your face, stretch forward or back. You can also stretch your left leg back here. But really think about kind of opening up your shoulder. Bring your right ear down, your right shoulder down. Good. Yep. Awesome. Yep. One more breath. Good, and then rise back out. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling and then circle your arm a little bit. Good, how are you guys feeling? Uncomfortable? What's up? Good, move your hips here a little side to side in tabletop position. And let me see you all do cat cow. Like, what is that? I don't remember. Cat cow, good, good. So, yeah, you're going to be quizzed a lot, so pay attention. You should feel very nervous. Just kidding, that's a joke. All right, tabletop position. Stretch your left arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe keep it up there, roll at your wrist. Good. Now, weave your left arm underneath your right. See if you can bring your left ear onto the mat. You can roll onto the outside edge of that shoulder. Right hand can stay by your face. You can stretch your right arm forward or bring it behind your back. Now here, maybe you tuck your right toes, and you stretch your right leg back. Maybe even your left heel towards your feet. Yeah, tumbling happens. Good. Good. And then when you're ready, bring your right hand back down in front of your face. Lower your legs. Stretch your left arm towards the ceiling, and then make some circles with your arm. Good, and then circle back. Good, and then hands come down, move your hips side to side. Good, bring your knees together and sit your hips back up to your heels like this. Good, and just pause here with the long spine. Good, now come to stand up on your knees. Step your knees kind of hip width apart and then bring your hands onto your back. So we're gonna come into camel pose. So really think about pressing your hips forward, open your chest, and then see if you can arch your spine and drop back. Yeah, good. And some of you might even be able to grab your heels. Kind of slingshot your chest forward, your hips forward. Yeah, good, keep breathing. Good, and then rise back up. And then bring your hips onto your heels. Bring your knees together and come into child's pose, forehead down. Good, so counter pose for that is called rabbit. So grab your heels with your hands, see if you can get your forehead down, lift your hips up and pull, 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 stretching the upper back, shoulders stretch. Good, lower your hips, rise back up to have a seat. Pausing here, breath in. And exhale. Good. Shift forward onto all fours. Good. Stretch your right leg back behind you. 
Good. Really lengthen that leg and then see if you can stretch your left arm forward. Opposite arm and leg. Beautiful. Good. Now place your left hand down and spin your left foot behind your left knee. Right foot comes down at the back of the mat. Supported side plank. So facing chambers. Good. Right leg at the back of the mat. Left knee down. Beautiful. Now you can keep that right arm stretching high or bring your right hand onto your hip. See if you can lift your leg and lower it a couple times. A little strength for your hip there. Nice. Yep. Yeah, maybe it's not super high. Good. See if you can hold that leg lifted and make a couple little circles. Circle. Good. And then lower your leg back down. Bring your hands down. Tabletop position all fours. Shake it out. Good option to do a modified flow here if you want. Walk your knees back. Maybe send your hips back. Shift forward. Chaturanga. Yogi push up. Up dog to table. Good. And then center here. Breath in. Exhale. Good. Stretch your left leg back behind you. Good. Hold it. And notice it's really lifted. See if you can kind of square your hips drop. Good. Stretch your right arm forward. Lengthen. Balance. Good. Pull your ribs in. So engage your core. Good. Now bring your elbow and knee into center. Stretch it forward and back. Two more times, curl to center, extend, last one, draw in, and reach. Now bring your right hand down, right foot behind your right knee, and left leg to the back of the mat. Keep your left arm up or maybe over. Now flex your left foot and bring your leg up and down a little bit. So hip straight, and maybe your leg just comes up a tiny bit, or a lot, doesn't matter, it's what it feels like. Good. Point your toe. Keep it lifted. Couple circles here. Circle the other direction. Good. Put the leg down. Square to the mat table pose. Move your hips from side to side. Breathe. Good. Stretch your right leg back behind you. And then this time, step it forward for a stretch. Good. Drop your back knee. Bring your hands down, framing that front foot. Good. Pull your chest through. Good. Now straighten your front leg and rock your hips back. Good. Bend into it. Shift forward. Then shift back. Then shift forward. Then shift back and hold it. Think right heel towards your left knee, maybe chest over your thigh. You can turn your toes out. Notice where that stretch feels in. Ali, that might feel good behind your knee. How's that doing? Okay. Um, and even when you kind of turn your toes out, if you guys can feel that stretch coming down the outside of the leg, back behind your knee, good, just breathe and notice, good, and then shift forward, bend into the front leg, and move your right foot over to the right side of your mat, see if you can bring both hands inside the foot, good, and here, maybe you could even come onto your forearms, Maybe you kind of spin on the outside of the foot, take a twist. Good. So deep stretch, deep breath. Good. Now from here, straighten your arms. You're going to roll onto the outside edge of your left hip. Good. So facing chambers, bring your right foot kind of in front of your hip. Good. And just kind of move a little side to side there. Good. Kind of rolling out that left hip. Good. And then from here, just come to lie down on your back and hug your right knee into your chest. We'll be facing the back of the mat. Good. Right knee draws in. Just kind of cross the leg over your body a little bit. Hug your knee in. Release it. Good. Now draw your right knee into your chest and curl your upper body up. See if you can bring your nose to your knee. Good. Lower down. Stretch your right leg towards the ceiling. And roll out your ankle. You can point and flex your foot. And then option to go deeper here. Walk your hands up the leg like you're climbing up a tree. Maybe bring your nose towards your knee. Good. Lower down. Now open your leg over to the right. The leg can be straight or you can bend the knee. See if you can feel that nice deep stretch there. Good. Slowly bring the leg back to center and then cross it over your body for a twist. Good. 
So bring that leg back to center and then bend your knee one more time, squeeze it in and then stretch your right leg long to the bottom of the mat. Let your arms come down. And then again, kind of notice the difference between the right and the left side. Notice if the right side feels a little more open, stretched out. Breathing down to your low belly, soften and relax. And then from here, stretch your arms up and your feet down. Flex your feet and then round your spine up. Bring your fingers towards your toes and forward fold. Good, and then rise back up. Spin around to face the top of your mat. Come onto all fours, tabletop position. Good, you can move your hips a little side to side, take a cat cow, maybe take a flow if that would feel good. Walk your knees back, shift forward, push up, up dog. Good, now stretch your left leg back behind you and step it forward. Good, drop your back knee, pull your chest through. Good, now straighten your front leg and shift your hips back. And just move like that a couple times. Bend, shift forward, straighten, shift back. Noticing and feeling, good. Good, then nice and slow, next time you come back, hold it there. Think left heel, drawing towards your right knee, chest over your thigh. You can turn your toes out. Good, how's that? You feel it, yeah, good. And maybe kind of pause. Turn your toes in, notice the stretch, really flex, really point, stretch the top of the foot. And whichever variation with your foot there felt the best, maybe go back to it and hold. Good. Take one more breath here. And then bend into your front knee, shift forward. Walk your left foot to the left side of your mat. Bring your hands down. You can even drop to your forearms. Maybe move a little side to side here. You can twist. So deep breath in. See if you can relax whatever part of the body might feel tense or tight. Now from here, you're just gonna roll onto your right hip. So you can bring your forearm down. Roll the right hip. See if you can bend your left knee and put your foot down kind of at the middle of your mat. Good. And then here, just kind of move a little side to side. It might feel like a nice relief for that outer right hip in the side body. Good. And then roll all the way onto your back. So come onto the mat. Roll onto your back, hug your left knee into your chest. And you can move that knee side to side, pull in, release, maybe circle that leg. And then here, bend your left knee in, squeeze the leg and see if you can lift your shoulders up, bring your nose towards your knee. Good, lower your back down. Now stretch that left leg straight up towards the ceiling. Roll out your ankle, make some circles there in your foot. Circle the other way. Maybe point and flex. And then option to walk your hands up the leg, lift your upper body up. Kind of like you're climbing a tree, deep stretch there, good. Nice, and then lower back down. Open your left leg over to the left. So you can keep the leg straight or you can bend your knee and kind of draw it open. Breathe. Good, come back to center. Cross your leg over your body for a little bit of a twist. Good, bring that leg back to center. Maybe pull it in one more time. Good, then bend your knee in, give it a squeeze and let it stretch to the bottom of the mat. 
arms come down, feet go long, breath in. And then big exhale out. Bend both knees into your chest and drop both knees down to the right. Open your arms out to a T, face to left for spinal twist. And then notice the sounds around you. Breathe in and exhale. Good. And then come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Maybe rock side to side. Squeeze in, release. And drop your knees down to the left. Open your arms out to a T and gaze to the right. Twist. And come back to center, hug your knees in, walk side to side, and then option for a happy baby, reach up. You can grab the outside edges of your feet or behind your thighs and rock side to side, just like a happy baby, maybe straighten one leg and then the other. Now stretch both arms up, both legs, and give everything a big shake. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. Shake it really hard, like you're trying to let go, release, move energy. Shake, 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 keep shaking. Good, still you're shaking. And then lie down on your back for final Shavasana, rest pose. Let your legs go long, let your arms come down by your side. And we'll close your eyes and breathe. And just know right now that there's nothing you need to do nowhere you need to go just allowing yourself this time to breathe and to soften to relax to let the practice really drop in so just noticing your posture maybe you stretch your arms away from you a little more stretch your legs down low and imagine kind of a beautiful wave washing over your body a wave of rest and relaxation Start to bring your attention to the very top of your head, the crown of your head. You feel maybe all the hair on your head, the scalp, the ears, the neck, the throat, relax deeply. And then feel into the face, the forehead, the temples, the nose, the cheeks, the chin, maybe noticing the jaw, and let your face completely relax. Start to move down the torso, feel into your shoulders and your chest, the softening. And down the front body, into your belly, your ribs, and down to your hips. And then move to the low back and travel your attention up the back. Either side with spine, through your shoulder blades, up and over your shoulders. So relax the back of the torso and the front body. And then pay attention to your right shoulder and Relax down your right shoulder to your right arm, your wrist, your hand, and each finger. Right arm, soften. And without moving, just feeling back up to the right shoulder, center of your chest, relax. And move into your left shoulder, down to the left arm, the elbow, and the wrist back of the hand, the front of the hand, each finger, soften. And move back to your left shoulder, center of your chest. Relax again down the torso, down to the belly and into your hips. And move your attention down the right leg, relaxing the front of the thigh, the knee, and the shin. Soften down into your right ankle, the foot, the toe. 
and maybe you're attempting back up that right leg, like a deep um, wind or a breath or a wave of relaxation across that right leg. And then move your attention into the right hip, to the middle of the belly, relax, and then to the left hip. Move your attention down the left leg, the top of the thigh, the left knee, the shin, the calf, and to the left ankle. Relaxing that left foot, top of the foot and each toe. Left leg is relaxed, right leg is relaxed, whole body is soft. Now see if you can let your internal organs relax, no gripping or holding. And now invite the mind to be very still. Let the mind relax. Skin softening off the muscles, muscles softening off the bones. Bones are heavy. Shavasana, deep rest. Slowly start to bring your attention back to the body. You might notice the sun on your face. And just start to really feel in a detailed sort of way the sensations of your body now. Notice how different you might feel now than when you first woke up when we first started class today. Do you feel more relaxed, more open, more strong, more calm, more focused? So kind of thinking about that before and after picture in our yoga practice. And noticing and maybe starting to really grasp and understand how powerful it can be to move the body, to breathe with intention, to really slow down and notice. The great, um, Meditation teacher Eckhart Tolle, who wrote Be Here Now and A New Earth, says that if in our daily life we can, or I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. Um, Eckhart Tolle says there's something that is much more important than anything in your life situation. And that's the ability to be still. So one incredible gift of our yoga practice, and what we're learning this semester is how to take time to slow down, to get still, to not react or reach for unhealthy habits or even distractions. 
Now, as you're ready, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Rotate through the ankles and wrists. Turn your head side to side. Now stretch your arms up and your feet down. Reach your body top to bottom. Reach, stretch, lengthen. Good, then bend your knees into your chest and give yourself a squeeze, a hug, draw in. Rock from side to side. And then roll to your right side and pause. Good, and then when you're ready, press your way up to a comfortable cross-legged position. You can kind of spin around and face forward. So sitting nice and tall, you shift your seat a little side to side, lengthen your spine. Good, and then just kind of notice maybe a gentle breeze, the sensation of the um, sun on your skin, the quality of your thoughts. And then bring your hands together in front of your heart, palms touching, and just take a moment to pause in a kind of feeling, a spirit of gratitude, gratitude to the body, the breath, this day, to all that we might be learning right now. Deep breath in and exhale. And we close the class just bowing our heads and saying namaste. Great job, everybody. How do you feel? Good. Cool. Do you guys want a break? Break? Okay. Um, five, ten minutes. What feels good? Ten. So it's 916. We'll come back at 926 and do some more yoga. And hey, Zoom people. Uh, someone is registered as iPhone. So if you want to tell me who you are, iPhone guest, so I can make sure you get credit. Um, and you guys, we're just going to take a 10 minute break and I'm going to close out the meeting. We'll start a new one at 926. iPhone. Um, so I have one. What's that? Um, I don't know if mine says iPhone, but I don't know if mine says iPhone. I'm from Brooklyn. Me, me and Susan and a couple other people couldn't get on earlier. Okay. Remember, like we were on the wrong Zoom link or something. Okay. Do you know if you were on Tuesday? We joined later. Okay. But um, we had not been so we didn't want to get to Is that Bailey who's speaking right now? Can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. That